Hola guys, uh, super beginio once again to everybody out there in the world. So in this video, we'll be talking about topology and specific in topology, we have something, we have three known concepts. We have something known as the interior of a subset S, this kind of mapping over here, the exterior of a subset S and the boundary. So if you look at this diagram exactly, what is the interior really? Well, suppose we have like a map S. Okay, this is just a map of uh, some location. And inside here, we have something known as interior, where A belongs. You know, this this is known as a topo topological space A. Okay, then this topological space A is within the subset S, and we call this the interior. Likewise, for the exterior, it has to be outside the map S, outside the subset. And outside the subset, we know it is known as the exterior. Lastly, the boundary. The boundary is simply the point where it's, where it's on the line. In other words, it's on the subset, at the edge of it. This would be the boundary point. Normally, this would be equal, a set of equation. Interior would be within it, and exterior would be the opposite sign of the interior. Now, something else we also need to understand is um, open and close. Okay? What we should just try to understand in this basic video, we're, we're going to define these properties later because it needs its own video, is that interior and exterior um, sets are always open while the boundary are always closed. And something else we should know is that sets with, with empty interior have been called boundary sets. In other words, if there is no interior, it's known as a boundary set. Okay, so let me rub this out and uh, hopefully give some examples to understand this more deeply. Okay, so this has to go now. Mm -mm. So let's try a couple. We're going to try four examples in this one. Okay, so here's the first example. Now suppose we have um, a set S, and this one is defined in 2D space for X and Y, belonging to R square, so 2D space, like I said. And the function is defined by X minus 1 squared plus Y plus 2 squared, less than 4. Okay, that's less than 4. Now, what we have to understand about this set, so once again, imagine this is the set S, yeah? And this defined, this information is defined in S. So S is, the whole map is this equation. Now, of course, this entire thing is technically known as the interior. Why? Because recall that we had A and had dot lines around. The dot lines around doesn't imply equals at this point. It implies that it's within it. Okay, so this set, we can just call it A. So this would be the interior function. We can say that the interior of s equals this entire function s equals this part okay now let's talk about the exterior the exterior function the exterior will be outside this um, interval right inside the space outside the space would be the would be outside this range so to be outside this range it's going to be not less than 4 but it's going to be greater than 4 so it'll be x minus 1 squared plus y plus 2 squared greater than Four. Okay, so far this is okay. Now, now let's talk about the boundary. Okay, so we have the boundary of set S. Okay, subset S. And that boundary is simply the same thing as ex same thing as these two, except now you're on the line, so you're here. So to be on this point, you have to be equal to it. So minus. So it'll be the same expression once again, but instead of greater or less than, it's going to be equal to four. So now you are on it, okay? And that's really it. So quite simple, isn't it? So let's try example number two now. And maybe this one will be more clear, okay? So suppose I have a function again, and the subset, the, the top, topological subspace is defined by x and y within all, within 2D space, and this will be easy. X squared plus Y squared greater than equal to 9. Okay. So what do we say about this one now? Once again, so notice how we have an equal sign there. So this would imply something else. So now we say that the interior of this set is actually not greater than equal. Remember, the interior, when we drew the map, was a dotted line. A dotted line doesn't mean it's equal. It means it's just inside it. In other words, it does not equal that line. Equal would be the boundary. So this would be x squared plus y squared greater than 9. Likewise, the exterior would be everything outside it. And outside it implies 
is the other side, which is less than 9. And boundary, which we just said, is when it's at the when it meets the when it meets the line, so it equals. So yeah, this is really all you need to understand about interior exterior and boundary, you know. Of course, open and close is another story on its own. Okay. So remember when I spoke about open and close sets, right? We said that interior and exterior are always open and the boundary is always closed. Notice how we have a equal sign here. Due to this one, instantly we imply that the set here is closed. On the previous example, because it was only it was no equal touch the inequality, that would have been an open set. This one is closed. Okay. Let's try um, one last example now. Okay. Again, one final example. I think we definitely got the hang of this thing now. So suppose finally that we have a subset S. And it equals once again da -da -da, 2D space, blah blah blah. Okay, 2D space, that's one ugly ass. Ah, Sorry guys, give me a second. I don't I just I don't really like ugly handwriting. Let's send it equal to r squared. Now we have this kind of expression x minus 2 squared over 4 plus y plus 1 squared over 9 equal one okay so here we go now we have a an equal sign okay so once again this would mean it's closed okay it's, it's locked in okay so let's jump straight into this now okay okay so the interior of this function so firstly the question is is there an interior function well we know the interior covers a range. Remember, we have a set S, and interior is within here. However, we locked at a single point. You cannot say that this is an interior. No, interior is, is a range, which covers a certain area. So in this case, we say that the interior of this set is an empty set. It just it's just not here. However, the exterior is going to be everything that's outside this. Thankfully. Okay, when I define exterior early, when I mentioned here, what I should have said is simply the exterior outside of S. Okay, so the exterior outside of S would be anything that isn't that isn't this that isn't this function here. So in other words, it equals x minus two squared over four plus y plus one squared over nine doesn't equal one. This would be the exterior, everything outside this interval. So, the, and this is, in other words, this is a two way interval. It means it's going to be less than and greater, while the interior cannot exist on this point. However, and yes, the boundary now is going to be this exact definition. The boundary is going to be S. It's going to be this definition. And that's it, guys. Hope this video helped and you got more clear understanding. If not, then please leave a comment below and hopefully we can move past this. Okay, guys? Beginio and have a great day.